Hello MacBook Pro. The description is uh, it is not charging. And uh, this is a uh, this is uh, a A1989. And uh, this is of the 2018-2019 lineups. Uh, see, this is the charging, so I suppose the device should power on, but I didn't see that. So I suppose the battery is flat. Let's quickly take the back of out, see what is it that. Uh, So, um, this type of CD32 uh, 17 that's used here, what, what does that tell you? Uh, is, this, uh, is this a 2018 board or 2019 board? This board, is it a 2018 or 2019? Hmm? What did I say about the underfill of uh, CD32 17? Uh, uh, 15? You don't remember. No, you said about having the other one will have. So which one has the underfield? Mm. What? So I said the underfield was it's something that they did in 2016, 2017, 2018, but in 2019 they stopped using the underfield. So if you see that with an underfield is 2019. You don't watch the video. <sighs> yeah. Talk and talk and it's very interesting because uh, it would be that oh I don't know because there is no way for me to get information from the information is there you choose not to use it So what I told him, which he refuses to, to, to listen to, he refuses to watch the video, it's this is uh, the, the charging port controllers, which are, which are the CD3215s. The 2018 versions of this ones, it would have underfills around it. Now, that, that method was used in 2016 devices, 2017 and 2018 touch bars. But in 2019, they, they removed the underfills. I'm just going to show you what I'm talking about. Now, because remember when we started, we said A1989, it's, uh, it's either 2018 or 2019. A1989 is either 2018 or 2019. But when you, when you take the back of out, even without using the serial number to check what it is, if you look at the board itself, you see this, these are the CD32. So these are the CD32 the, the controllers. If you look at this, you see it has some kind of epoxy around it, oh, like, uh, like a like glue. Before. Yeah, it's around. So now this, it's going to be a 2018. This is the same thing they did on the 2016, 2017 board. So this is a 2017 board. See the way it looks. Yeah, sticking out a little bit. Yeah. I'm not sticking out. Look at, you see, you see the way that looks. Now look at this one. Exactly. Yeah. So it's a yeah, so this is 2019 board. So this, so uh, if you're working on the 20 in 1989, and then you see that type of uh, uh, CD32 uh, uh, 16, uh, 15, then you, you know that it's a 2019 board. If if it was like this, then it would be that the board is a 2018 board, not a 2019 board. We have it on the video, but okay. Anyway. Uh, so let's quickly, because they say it's not charging, so most likely most of the, the regular uh, troubleshooting that we're going to be making would, would fall, fall off. So we are just going to focus on the CD32 uh, profiting, which is uh, the, the voltage that is going in. So what we can do is we can just go ahead and remove the board because uh, we have four of that. And the way the CD32 15 or 17 work, it's uh, if you have one failing, depending on the, the section of, of, of um, because there are multiple sections inside the CD32. So let's open up the board here quickly. 
the bond fee of this one is going to be, and by the way, the 2018 and 2019, they share the same bond view number, 80.00850. We're looking for 850. That's it, 80.00850. So they share the same bond, uh, 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 bond view uh, number. So the CD 3215 uh, is this guy here. There are multiple uh, regions inside the CD 3215. Depending on what region has failed, um, the, the key is there has to be communication across. There are four of that. See, U3200 on the other side. Now, the four, because I have four ports, one, two, three, four. So each will control each port. Depending on what region of the CD32 fails, that will determine if communication is still possible across them. Uh, communication across them in order to get the device, in order to get the device. So you, there are two types of failures you will expect on this one. You have a failure on, on one that does not prevent the rest from working. So the other failure will still work, but the one will not work. You have another type of failure where one failing will prevent the others from working. So the control. Yes. So uh, what we are going to do is uh, let's. Uh, so I don't know if we can just take the board out instead of because uh, we could just go ahead and measure around. But since we we will most likely need to take the board out anyway, so let's just uh, go ahead and take the board out, and then that will give us access to measure around the the whole four city city that two seven uh, fifteen because. From here, we can only have access to one and two. We don't have access to the ones under. So, That's flipped upside down actually. So that's supposed to be like this. Whoever was here, I guess they put it together in a hurry or they're not sure how it's supposed to sit. And uh, to mention, this is uh, this is a job that is coming in from another repair company, so we trust their assessment. And this is also not going to be a case of um, charging port replacement because if that was the case, they would have done so. And also, it's uh, it's very uncommon to have four the, the the two charging ports failing at the same time. It's very very uncommon. So. Board is out. Put the boards back. So there are four of them. So we have one there, one there, one and one. So let's uh, look around them and see. Okay, so mm. you have to move closer and see what I'm doing, eh? Please. You guys are already frustrating me. And so we have uh, one, two, three, four. So we are going to measure around those four to see if. Uh, 
so whoever was here there was also i suppose there was a capacitor that's that's uh, that was failing here which they removed and i guess they thought that was going to be the problem but uh and also looks like it's you can see that it's a bit of a uh, oxidation around there oh you can see yeah, that can see. that could actually be a hint uh, maybe that's our problem maybe that's uh okay so let's measure around it First, before we connect power to it, let's see. We are going to use LGOs of uh, the components of the of the CD32. See if any can stand out. That's not beeping. Let me see if any can beep out of it. So that doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. The other side. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Doesn't beep. Not so good. Doesn't beep. That should be ground. Okay. Okay. So let's now connect power to it. Let's say what is it that we have on our PPDC egg. So we are going to judge by what we have on uh, PP bus. So depending on what we have on PP bus, that will uh, de determine what we do next. Point thirty one and stable. What is it supposed to be? If it was uh, twenty four and PPDCA, mm -hmm. twelve point six. Yeah. So now twelve point twenty one will be that we're getting five volts. And once I say that it's stable, it's not fluctuating. Let's check the other one. Other port. Four point thirty one and it's also not fluctuating. Okay. And then the other side. Four point thirty one. And not fluctuating. Okay. Hey, What's as if it's not even trying to? Twelve point thirty one. And we are not not fluctuating. So sometimes you can get a hint. Wait, did that just fluctuate? Yes. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so that's only one behave differently from the rest. So let's check the other ones again because definitely stable, correct? No, it is different right now, yeah. That's a, that's a long wait. Okay. It also did fluctuate, but that's after a long wait. And then on this side. Yeah, 12.19. Let's see, is it still 12.19? 12.19. Okay, so it's 
Okay, and the other one. Of one twenty three. Okay, of one thirty one. Thirty two seven password. That's a long one. Not really. Okay. Let's now check what is it that we have around us with these themselves. Let's see this. Three volts. Three volts. Five volt. So let's uh, let's do a slight reflow on this one here. This is, this is a slight reflow. Let's see if we get any changes. Hmm. I might ultimately have to replace that. This is the one that we will be flowing, <coughs> UB300. And uh, this is the capacitor that they had taken out. Um, so on this particular line, uh, uh, on this 2018-2019, uh, CB300 usually will corrode. So usually you find corrosion on CB300. It's a common failure on this, uh, on, on this one. So that capacitor is always here. Hmm? You find corrosion on, you see, on the pin one of it. Uh, usually when that happens, you will have a short on PP3, V3, and that's called ROTC. And that will prevent the CBT H2 phase obviously from working. So uh, that has already been taken out, and the person was hoping that that's the problem. But in this case, that's not the problem. If you have a if you have a problem there, let's, uh, let's see. It's completely is there. Uh, we'll have to re re replace that. Let's see on the other side. See, can you put like this one?
I'll watch it out on the field. It has oh, so we I can replace that. Yeah, so we just need to replace that. But that might not necessarily mean that that's the problem, but because after the reflow the chick itself completely died, so let's replace that. Okay, you can give them the faulty drive. Okay, so we can use this one. I think it's always better to first use the option of moving the camera closer instead of just zooming, because zooming Sometimes you, you get distortion at times so in the process I'm able to move the camera closer but if that doesn't achieve yeah, it's also doing the same thing as happening to also bad so I'm gonna use that I'm wondering Because we didn't take it from the same place, we obviously have to now be concerned about orientation. 
Let's put that put back the capacitor there and the two capacitors first before we Oh, by the way, without that cap, um, the board is still going to work, eh? So, even if... Uh, okay. Now, uh, so, the same principle with uh, orientation and pin one. If you look at this, where do you think is going to be the pin one? Is it this point, this point, this point, or this point? This one. This yeah, point, yeah. yeah. So that's the point. And notice if you do just right down, you should see another small dot there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. yeah. And then on the other side of the chip, you should also see. See the dot? This. Yeah, okay. So that's going to be a pin one. So. My orientation will have to be in that direction, so like this. Mm -mm. No, that's not how I want it to be. Uh, so what you, you you hold the camera so you can they can uh, set it up themselves eh? And the back screws? Okay. Hopefully that's properly installed, or if not, we'll have to redo it. Is the battery not good, sir? Sorry? Is the battery not charged? Huh? Lower. So if I just want to say for it, let's make sure we don't have a short. Okay, let's check if we have uh, anything different.
الحمد لله اسود 12.6 which means we have 20 volt check the other one 12.3 wait 12.6 okay so and then the reason why you get 12.3 first is obviously because it's 5 volt and then it goes to 20 volt okay so our problem was indeed um that city page 215 and uh place in it solve the problem just gonna clean it and uh The the fan over spinning shade isn't that a concern? Let's see, let me see. What does the battery say? Okay, you appear on me, sir. That's for the client. After you close the machine. Okay, so. I show that. Okay, this is actually working. So, this one, when they said that it does not charge, so what they meant was not that the battery isn't charging, it is that the device has no power from. From the charger remember yesterday we, we spoke about how you have to differentiate between which is which uh, so in this case the device has no power from the charger and also that the, the battery cable always remember to to check the other side because oftentimes there uh, is something that you might skip Anyway. So we're just obviously uh, because we know the problem was that it was not uh, uh, charger would not it would not pass from the charger so just uh, one port is enough. Let's see, do we have twelve point six? Okay, we have twelve point six. Okay, so it should be having something on the screen. Let's see. We have from the left, that's it. We have a uh, yeah, that's standard. That's okay. I should start finding. Okay, that's about it. Um, so it only uh, only one of the CD page two fifteen was faulty, which is a UB three hundred. Um, initially there was a bit of um uh, corrosion here, which I suppose uh, this is a common failure on the 2018-2019 Even the the A seventeen o six because this is in 1989, uh, even in 17.06, sometimes because uh, so because of the position of this capacitor here, it tends to uh, corrode due to oxidation. So usually, uh, if you have a short on TP3, V3, and that's called um, uh, IOTC, this is like the first uh, section, you, uh, the, 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 the first place you want to go to, just to be sure that you don't have, uh, that capacitor is not corroded. If it is corroded, you can remove it using a, uh, using a tweezer, you don't necessarily have to replace it, especially if this has underfill. If it's a 2018, you don't even want to go there because when you heat this, when you apply heat here, chances of you melting the solder underneath the chip, it's very high. So, um, yeah, so when we saw that and then we saw a bit of oxidation around here and then that was kind of like a giveaway. So we tried to reflow it, but while reflowing it, the chip bubbled up, which was like, no, no, no. So we had to... And then after it bubbled up, it wouldn't even um, uh, accept the basic voltage, which is a 5 volt. So we decided to uh, replace it, replacing it solved the problem. And this also underscores uh, what I said about one of, only one of the CD32 15 failed, but then it prevented the others from 
have the water. Okay, that's about it, guys. Thank you guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.